and demonstration. When there's drug addicts, there's those who want to dominate awareness. There's those with disabilities alongside those with drug addictions and recoveries. They're making musically to treat their difficulties and their confusion. Men, mostly, who <laughs> protect women above all else now. Women who demand what they need and take and require. <laughs> to have an appetite to eat food and drink water now. These men show up in women's apartments <laughs> and they say they're in a room in a house and they're visiting their flatmate. They wear United States Marine Corps gear and say they served in the United States Army in the Vietnam War now. They slam their doors. They set down a coffee cup using time. And their attention and their concentration and their focus have to do with their drug binge, their meth head stimulation. So they can have no mind and have the freedom that their lies explain with their cognitive dissonance now. They live, those who practice dominant awareness with a duality and a suffering. They yell every night, matters, at 8 p.m. And proclaim in a building on Capitol Hill when they leave their lover's room in a house where they rent another room on a different floor now. And lastly, when the confusion has ended, the electronic sounds and the energy provided have captured a whole floor's awareness. They get a blowjob. They have someone touch their gender neutral body and receive their award, their gift they have as a reward for their strength and power and violent behavior they observe watch and listen when there's an echo and their consciousness blinks and their colon feels those nasty meals festering in their stomach and their oxygen depleting. Suffocating from their fentanyl, they bought another floor down now. Distracted and bored now from the heroin in the needle. They've got to replenish where they sell food for bitches who speak and don't swallow their cum, their sperm, and have an emotion and a color and a mood. When their knife and their gun come to my head and say, bang, 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 and their knife goes, boom. Now, there's 
more drugs in mental health and there are people with disabilities being respected as not some freaking maniac sociopath, psycho awareness addicted, dumb idiot who next door tells next door and the other next doors who ya ura they've got the biggest dick in the building and their cock has the stiffest disposition for all you feminists transgender pride flag waving participants within their stimulation and awareness and reward attention called lick, 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 baby. Suck, 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 mama. And smoke them drugs. Smoke them cracks. Hit them methamphetamine pipes. You're on TV on the internet now. And Google and YouTube undoubtedly agree. You're as creepy, as scary, and terrifying as it. A movie about those who I speak about now, who hide with some stimulation and wait for their victim in a hallway outside of a door. A door. Yoda would be scared to visit after speaking out loud about some man in some woman's home, whose woman's home who says, often there are those who don't leave when they arrive, and who says their drug addiction of methamphetamine crack causes them an emotion, their medication prescription can't always stop when they're not allowed to have their binge and awareness dominant during a coronavirus pandemic at the end of February 2010 plus 11 equals 2021 now.